Hey everybody, it's Brandy back again and today's video is going to be on my first watercolor experience and this here is provided by Neo Wigs so stay tuned if you want to see how I got this color. So this is the packaging. It's a little banged up, but it was absolutely gorgeous. The back quote says, we live only to discover beauty. All else is a form of waiting. So I think that's kind of dope. So that's what it looks like when you take the little cover off. And then you have a little drawer on the bottom. And this is what you pull out. You have the wig in there and this beautiful drawstring bag. Very great quality. It's like a silk. A little end emblem on it and then you also get this adjustable strap inside so that's really handy so we'll open up the bag of course inside will be your wig it has the same saying on the back of that too so I did get a bob wig in 613 um, it is 12 inches this is the construction so look at that lace goes all the way back you have these straps there um, on the back. You also have the ones for your adjustable strap that was in the box as well as combs. So for people who want to adhere their wigs in different ways, this one's really good for everybody. So this is what it looks like without the box. I just want to show you what it looks like before we get into that process. This is some really, really blonde hair. And then this is what the edges look like. So it really is like a very nice pre-plugged hairline. So you don't have to do a lot of customization. Um, I had to do a little bit which I'll get into in my next video when I show you guys how I installed it, but you really don't have to do much. Make sure you always have a comb and you'll understand why in a minute. These two colors are baby blue and indigo blue from Adore. I went ahead and mixed this in some warm water from the tap, and while I let that sit, I put guys to be glued on the lace so that the lace did not turn blue. I saw this on a couple people's channel and it worked out pretty well. So I'm doing a test strip, which you always want to do before you do the entire wig, just to make sure that that's the color that you want. Uh, I realize it needs to be a little bit darker. Don't be afraid to add the color, but just keep in mind that the more color you add, the darker the color is going to get. So I let the color cool too long, so I went back and boiled some water and put half of the hot tap water so I can still manipulate. And then I also realized that I didn't tone the hair, so it came out a little green. So I went ahead and with the aquamarine and baby blue instead. If you wanted a true blue wig, I recommend that you tone the wig before you start doing the color process. So I'm doing my test strip again to make sure that this is what I like. And I realized I did, so I went ahead and dunked the whole thing in. So I'm going for a lighter blue in the beginning and then like gradually going down dark. So this is where the comb comes into place. You want to make sure that every single strand gets covered. That blonde will show through if you do not use a comb just to kind of rake it through. And then just simply comb it. So I kind of let that sit in there too, make sure all the color was absorbed as much as possible before I moved on to the next color. Now that I have the baby blue color I'm looking for, I'm going to go ahead and add some aquamarine to the water. So I'm not going to dunk the front part of the wig into the water. Again, I want to do like a gradient effect. And if you're not good at coloring hair, this is probably the best way to do this because it's so easy and it's kind of hard to mess up. Like you might get a color you might not like, but it still comes out super cute. So I went ahead and dunked like half the wig in there. Um, I did start with half and then I kind of went up a little bit more because I realized I need a little bit darker of a color. I didn't want baby blue. Uh, all over definitely not so I just made it a little bit darker so the aquamarine kind of turned it green and like I said because I didn't tone the hair before I did this it really looked really nice it kind of looked like a mermaid type of green so I actually ended up loving it a lot more so at this point I realized ooh, the top of my hair is a little too light so I kind of dunked it really quick in there it did get a little bit darker, but it kind of kept the light blue at the really like the roots kind of beginning. Um, and when I washed it off later with conditioner, which I didn't show in this video, but 
it kind of lightened it up again. So now I'm going with my final color, which is the indigo blue, and it is a true blue. So I'm just dipping it in there, just holding it, letting it sit, trying to bring the color up a little bit, just so it blends in with the aquamarine. And this is what I got once I washed it with conditioner and blow dried it. So the back has the blue and then goes into that like turquoise aqua and then the baby blue is right in the front. This wig took me 15 minutes to color and that's only because I had to refill the water twice. If you're a beginner or don't know how to color at all, I recommend doing the watercolor method. This came out so great. I think it's one of my favorite wigs of all time. And Mia wigs was so easy to manipulate and I will definitely let you guys know how I liked it in my install video. So stay tuned.